Testing, testing one, two, testing one, two. <clears throat> hey guys, it's uh, Matthew Kennedy here. I just wanted to, uh, let's turn this down a bit. No? Maybe it's good? Yeah, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Hey guys, it's MW Tornado here. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's MW Tornado. Uh, hey guy. Hey guys, it's Matthew Kennedy here today, and I just wanted to share an app I just downloaded. It's called. Oh, I want to shut up that mouse. Hey guys, it's M uh. hey guys, it's Matthew Kennedy here, also known as MW Tornado. I have a um, a little app that I downloaded the other day that is a very very useful. Um, it's called Daisy Disk. It's a very interesting app that can be found on the App Store for the Macintosh OS X and above. And it is very useful. As you can see, now I don't have the largest hard drive in the world, and it is filling up quite quickly. Um, this program right away tells me how much um, I have for a hard drive. So this is a 639 gigabyte hard drive. I only have 101 gigabytes. If I hover it over it, you can see that I have 538 used. When you first install this uh, Daisy Disk app from the App Store, it will ask you to for permission to scan your your HD drive or any other drive. If you have an external drive, you plug in the external drive, it will give you the options to scan that as well. Right off the bat, you would take your HD drive or whatever you have um, and drag it into Daisy Disk. I've already done that. That gave it permission to... Um, to go ahead and scan the hard drive. I believe it also asked like permission. Are uh, you giving this program access to your hard drive and stuff? Um, once you do that once, all you need to do is click on scan. And there's this little drop down. Um, it allows you to bring it up in Finder, which I've already done. And um, we can get info, which you can also get just by right clicking. It's the same information. But when you hit scan, Scan, it goes through and it's going to scan the Macintosh, all the files, where they're located, how big they are, and it does something uber cool. Let's get rid of this and wait for the magic. And that took about four minutes. And here we go with our graphical interface showing us the hard drive sections. Um, it will kind of summarize it over here on the right hand side. Um, and it starts from the basics. Now this is, well, it kind of reverses the thought process in this. The smaller sections are actually the larger sections. So of the hard drive, all of this equals 538.7. Of this, um, it's within the Kennedy structure. So there's a bunch of other stuff, the red ones over here, which are usually program and application files that are very small and have nothing to do with the, um, the main hard drive. Um, as we fan out, we see that my movies are taking up a lot of space. They're using up 424 gigabytes of hard drive space. Of that, I have two sections. I have a um, my screen recorder, which is something I'm using now, and two um, separate uh, directories. In one of those directories is the iMovie events directory, which is almost a duplication of the screen record. Because I take what I record in the screens and put it into iMovie. I could almost delete these if they are in here. And that's a separate app called um, a duplicator. Uh, it looks for duplicated files. Um, from within here, you can see the individual files. Now, here's where it gets really cool. I can click on something like this, and it breaks it down just for that root directory. I can now look at these two individually. Let's look at this section, which takes up a total of 200 and 
7.8 uh, gigabytes. Each of these gray parts are actually individual files. So I can see which file is largest. And I can also see that I have another um, subdirectory in there as well. At any time, I can bounce back throughout the, the hard drive. Um, but so I can uh, do two things here. I can click on this or now since I'm hovering that section of it, um, actually I stand corrected, click on it, it will take you into the individual files. On the right hand side, it will tell you what you were, we're dealing with. Um, so you can see that there's a 45 gigabyte um, file, which is going to be this larger section here. It tells me where that file is located. And if I wanted to see that file, I right click on it, show in finder, and it will locate that file for me. Now I could review it, see if it's it, see if it's actually needed. This is an awesome utility. Uh, I do recommend this for anybody. Um, yeah, see, these are the exact same file as I'm looking at it now. But um, I recommend this if you're looking or trying to narrow down what is the larger files on your system and you need to start cleaning out your hard drive, this is a great way to go. I hope this helped out. Um, you can get this on the at the App Store for about $19. Um, it definitely was worth it money for me um, being able to clean up the hard drive. Um, I wish it did do the uh, ch check for duplicate files because this is the same file as this. However, for what it does, it does a great job. Until next time, guys, have a great day. And if you have any suggestions for things that you would like to see a tutorial on, um, I will learn it for you and bring it to you in this format on the Tornado.Productions YouTube channel. Have a great day, guys.